Well, hello everyone. Today I come to you from our fellowship hall in one of our makeshift meeting classrooms, an area in which we've set up tables to have educational opportunities and other meetings throughout this pandemic. I come to you from a classroom today as we are now unbelievably at the end of summer and the return to the classroom for many folks in our congregations. This means the teachers who are going back or who are already back, uh, other school workers returning into the building as well, certainly as students themselves. I can't imagine being a student going to school or college or even a parent of school age children during this time of the pandemic. All the balls that you had to juggle with remote learning, going to school, falling in the protocols of wearing a mask, not wearing a mask, and all those things. We were sort of hopeful for a better return to this fall with things dissipating even more, but of course we have sort of went backwards here lately with a variant. But we are hopeful and praying that things will once again move forward and we continue to gain ground on this virus as we follow those CDC recommendations. We are planning to resume Sunday school and our schedule the Sunday after Labor Day, September 12th, by going back to an 8 o'clock and 1030 worship schedule with Sunday school in between. We are planning for that and hoping that that will not be impacted by the virus, but pay attention to those notes as we resume adult Sunday school, confirmation this fall, as well as Sunday school for all ages. We ask your prayers for that as we make those decisions and as parents make those decisions about returning to in person and how that will all unfold. Speaking of returning to school, as you know, each vacation Bible school in the summer, we have collected items for school supplies uh, for, for those in need. Uh, we are doing that this fall with the Redeemer Crisis Center, but not only are we collecting school supplies, but we've expanded that to other needs that the Crisis Center has identified for us, and we have shared that list already, and it is in the September Insight as well. So I encourage you to be a part of that if you are able to do that. We appreciate all your participation and your support in this time of the year. We are moving ahead to make preparations and plans and ministry uh, decisions for the year 2022 already. So we are working on that behind the scenes as well as a multitude of other ministry decisions going on as well. In the meantime, everyone, take care, dear church. <music>